welcome back to another drum lesson. I'm your host, Dave Bloom. Today we're going to work on a groove called the funky foot. It takes a classic funk groove and kind of modernize it by switching around where you'd normally uh, hear the accents. In this one, we're going to look for patterns within the grooves. And we're also going to look at the different types of paradiddles that get used within this groove. So let's not waste any time and get started. Let's take a look at the sticking first. This is a linear pattern, so no two limbs are going to be played at the same time. We're going to focus on kick, which is your right foot, left and right. Your left hand is going to stay on the snare drum at all times when we play the actual groove and your right hand will stay on the hi-hat. But for now, let's just focus on playing on the snare drum and the bass drum. Now that we got the sticking down, let's take a look at the first beat, the first group of 16th notes. This is going to start with your bass drum. Then it's going to play right on the hi-hat, left on the snare, and back to the bass drum. It's the same pattern that we went through, so this should follow through nice and smoothly. Now let's look at B2. These grouping of four notes is going to play a paradiddle, starting with your right hand on the hi-hat, left hand on the snare, and two kicks on the bass drum. Now that we got the first two beats down, the grouping of eight notes, let's play the whole first half together. I want you to notice a pattern that we have within there. We play a kick to start it, and we end with a kick. And in between that, we have two times played right on the hi-hat, left on the snare, and your right foot on the bass drum. All right, let's look at the third beat. In this group of four notes, we have an inverted paradiddle. We're going to start with our left hand on the snare. The middle of that, the double, will be played on the bass drum. Two hits, and then a right hand on the hi-hat. On the final beat of this groove, we have four hits that play a reverse paradiddle. We're going to play two kicks with our right foot. Then we're going to play right hand on the hi-hat and finish off with left hand on the snare. All right, now let's put the whole second half together. These eight notes in beat three and beat four follow a pattern again. It is not the same pattern as the first half, but you notice a pattern is in there. We start with a hit on the snare drum, and we end with a hit on the snare drum. But the six beats in between is a repeat of three notes in a pattern. Kick, kick, right. Pay attention to all the patterns as you're trying to figure this all out. It'll really make it easier. All right, we've got both halves down, so let's put this whole thing together. I want you to pay attention to the patterns as well as the various types of paradiddles throughout this. That'll really guide you through it and make it a lot smoother. Great job. Now all we have to do is put the accents in and we're done. On the snare drum throughout this groove, we have four hits. For the accents, we are going to put a hit on the first snare drum hit, the third snare drum hit, and the fourth snare drum hit.
All right, that's all for this lesson. Thanks for checking it out. If you guys enjoyed this one, please go to my YouTube page and subscribe, as well as check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all with the tag Dave Bloom Drums. And if you have a chance, check out my brand new website, DaveBloomDrums.com. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.